you see a lot of stuff and you've been there 20 years, which is pretty unusual for the financial services industry. So, you know, whether it's your partnerships, your alt data, uh, some of your workflows, what, what are you seeing as the research effort today? Yeah, thank you. That's a great question. And thanks for, for having me here. Um, so I'm Richard Lichtenstein. Uh, as Brian mentioned, I've been here 20 years at Bain. Uh, I'm our chief data officer for our private equity business. And uh, I co-lead our work around Gen AI and private equity. And so uh, I've probably worked directly with about 40 funds, talked to probably well over 100, and uh, probably done about 70 projects on Gen AI in the last couple of years. Um, some of it helping funds think about how to make their own businesses more efficient. Uh, some of it thinking about, look, a lot of it is diligence, so they're looking at a new business and trying to figure out how is Gen AI going to affect that business and, you know, good ways or bad ways. Uh, and then some of it is companies they already own, so which companies are at risk or have opportunities and how do they go after those and then working with the companies directly. Um, so I spent a lot of time on this. I also have a big team of people at Bain, over 100, and part of what they do is develop new tools and, and things, and we've been building a lot with Gen AI, and that's been exciting, and obviously we've partnered with many people, including, you know, including AlphaSense and others, um, to help create tools that our teams can, can get value from. Um, I mean, I think the big trend that I'm seeing when I talk to the customer, to their customers, really, to, to private equity funds, is they have, they know they're sitting on a lot of data, right? I mean, they know they've looked at a lot of deals, they own a lot of companies, they, they have it all, and they don't know where any of it is. I mean, it's sitting on people's hard drives, it's sitting all over the place, they have no clue. And so their number one need, if you ask them, is we just want a knowledge management system. We want something where we can search for something and find it. Um, and then obviously if it was able to plug into other sources too, right, to third party sources, you know, that's, if that's a real bonus, right, then it's even better. But that, that need for just even basic knowledge management as a starting point um, is, is sort of the foundational layer that every fund is looking for. I'm curious, since you talked to so many funds, what inning do you think we are in in terms of folks working with AI, understanding how good it is, implementing strategies or workflows? Are we in early, early, early days, or are you seeing some pretty good sophistication out there? So I think it depends exactly kind of what, what you're, you know, almost where, what you're asking for, right? So I think if you say, are funds thinking about Gen AI when they do a deal? Absolutely. I mean, we have some stats from a survey we did. I think I'm not allowed to say the percentage, but a, high, a very high percentage of funds said, um, we've killed a deal because of Gen AI in the last year. And an equally high percentage said, we've, you know, underwritten a little bit extra on the deal because we think there's some Gen AI upside. So for, on that, they're getting pretty sophisticated about uh, assessing the risks and opportunities. I think applying it to their own work, um, we're, we're in, you know, I don't know, I don't know, I'm sure you've been like, I think they're still playing the national anthem, right? I mean, like, <laughs> like we're, not, we're, not, we're not even, you know, the game hasn't even started yet. Because I, I think the, the, you know, most funds, look, most PE funds especially, I mean, they don't have the kind of huge teams you're talking about, right? They've got like three data people at the center in the fund for the whole fund, for a whole giant fund with tens of billions of dollars of, of AUM. So they need a vended solution that's gonna come in and solve this, help really help them get started for sure. Those vended solutions really have only come in the market in the last uh, six months, really. And, and so a lot of them are, you know, they're piloting them, they're testing them, they're, uh, but I don't, I haven't seen very many funds that have truly like, they've adopted something, it's working, everyone's using it, they're getting tons of value from it.